rather than trying to use a vaccine that we inject into a patient to induce an immune response, we actually try to use the patient's own tumor as a vaccine. And so um, what, we, what is done uh, with this uh, study um, is basically a DNA plasmid is injected into the tumor site and then electrodes are placed into that tumor site to basically what we call electroporate or um, uh, introduce that DNA that's injected into the, into the cancer cells and into the tumor microenvironment. And the plasmid that's injected there expresses a cytokine called IL-12. IL-12, as it turns out, is one of the critical cytokines to teach, uh, to help teach T cells to recognize antigens. So dendritic cells, as an example, when they teach T cells to do um, what they're supposed to do, they secrete IL-12 as well. In this case, what we're doing is we're introducing that cytokine actually into the tumor site to uh, essentially elicit an immune response um, uh, within the tumor site. And the important point there is if we actually apply that treatment to patients with um, metastatic melanoma, what we can see is not just a response at the site that's treated, but we can actually re see responses at distant sites which would be consistent with that idea that not only are we killing cancer cells just at the site that's being treated, we're actually inducing an immune response that can circulate and actually impact cancer at other sites. And so this trial is actually now being expanded based upon these um, um, uh, 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 favorable results. And you know, the goal is to really get a, a much larger experience on these patients and also to further understand what those immune cells are that are not just impacting the treated site, but actually going and attacking the, the distant sites.